Hey, KIC here, and I am a terrible, terrible person, and I am going to take advantage of a situation. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. This here is a Tyrannosaurus. I'm shooting him in the face with narcotic arrows, trank arrows. Why? Because I said I'm a terrible person and I am taking advantage of a situation. Now, in yesterday's episode, you kind of saw this guy. And you might have known that I was going to come back out either this way or kind of toward one of my other favorite locations. Because I did mention I need to kill off a bunch of creatures so I can enable the various new creatures in the game to spawn. Well, what better way to kill off creatures than to actually tame one, right? That's what I thought. So that's why I came out here. And when I saw this guy was around and that I could as a lovely single player take advantage of his inability to climb a hill and repeatedly shoot him in the face with trank arrows i thought duh right i mean it's not going to take all that long to tame him yes okay let's talk about a couple things first here yes i absolutely do have increased taming timers that is absolutely true and i suppose theoretically if i really wanted i could speed up time while i'm just hanging around, not doing a whole lot. But the reason, the real reason why it's not going to take too long, in addition to those taming timers, I've kind of been pointing them out. Are you noticing all of the big dinosaurs around me? Well, since I said I need to kill off a bunch of things, and it so happens there are a bunch of brontosauruses around. I don't know, would that be like brontosauri? I'm, I'm not really sure. That right there means I have a really good selection of raw prime meat available to me. Now, obviously, I, I don't just happen to have the raw prime meat handy. So I do need to do a little um, Bronto murdering, but that can be arranged without too much difficulty since Sauron here is... Uh, well, let's just take a look at his numbers these days. 555.3% damage. It's only going to take a couple of bites. You can see that guy is red. And now he's dead. Just like that. And I have a whole boatload of raw prime meat. Just like that. And I think I accidentally killed something else too. Oops. What did I kill over here? Uh, Stegosaurus it looks like. Well, let's go ahead and check that for raw prime meat. Look at that. I got a bunch of raw prime meat. Just like that. Ah, I like when a plan comes together. You're not attacking me, are you? No, we're good. Ankylosaurus and I... We're good. We are tight. We are best buds. Um, hmm. Something doesn't like me. I'm not sure what. Apparently, it's not a big deal. Let's go check on Mr. T-Rex over here. I'm just going to park Sauron. Oh, about right there. Sounds good. Let's see what this dude has going on. He is unconscious. Now, he's only a level 3, so he's, you know, obviously not high level. But, hey, you know what? Sauron wasn't terribly high level when I got him either, and he's turned out to be a pretty capable guy. I'm curious how much, how many of his points went into food, and it looks like not too many. He might actually be better off than Sauron is. Let's go ahead and grab some raw prime meat as well as some regular meat. I actually did kind of want that single stack I took there. That's fine. Let's just go ahead and click all these guys over here. Now, he's obviously going to eat the raw prime meat first. And we'll go ahead and throw some narcotics on him, too, because I suspect I'm going to need those at some point. Yeah, this is not going to be too bad. This is going to work out well. In fact, he is not going to need all of those because my timings are... My timing... My timer. There you go. My timer is kind of, kind of high. It's definitely higher than standard. So I'm going to just kind of hang out here for a little while obviously. Maybe cook a little more meat because uh, I think I have a campfire over here somewhere, don't I? Yeah, look at that. I have a campfire handy. Gotta love that. Yeah, I've been out here before trying to tame stuff. This is... I don't know if you remember, this is where I came when I was trying to tame a Spinosaurus some time back. I actually had it in about the same spot that T-Rex is, that, uh, that is hanging out there and uh, it didn't work out very well for me then. But I suspect this one's going to work out a little better for me now. And in fact, here, let's just go ahead and take Sauron. I'm going to go grab some wood. Just because, you know, seems like a good idea. So I can actually cook my meat. I know, I have some thatch on me, but... Um, 
just to be safe, I'm going to go grab some wood. That way I don't have to worry about potentially running out, and I can still have a little thatch if I need to maybe repair a torch or something along those lines. But I will check back in with you in a little while. Okay, just checking in. My campfire is still cooking here because I was actually just cooking some of the raw prime meat. He's not going to be able to get to all of it before it spoils, so that's why I kind of got rid of some of it. And I was able to cook one down. I was actually just a touch late on the others. Now, I was busy setting up torches and cooking all my food. Well, some of my food, I guess. Not all of it. So I haven't really done a whole lot while I've been out here just yet. So it'll still be a little while. I might have to go get a little bit more raw prime meat, which, as I said, I mean, there are plenty, 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 plenty of brontosauruses around here. Not to mention some other, you know, good medium-sized dinosaurs. So... It's not like I won't have opportunity, but just for right now, I'm going to kind of see how far this will get me. But uh, you know what? Maybe on second thought, maybe I should just go grab some additional raw prime meat because he's, uh, he's going to need at least one more. So we'll go ahead and do that right quick. Let's just see if I can take care of that in short order. Hop on Sauron here. Hop on Big Man. And we'll turn a nice 180. I actually did destroy a rock over here. That was so I could get some flint. So I could, of course, make those standing torches. Because I didn't have any flint on me. Now, let's see. There were some bigger dinosaurs around here somewhere. I am a little concerned about leaving him lying around. I, I really do wish I had another dinosaur with me to kind of protect him. But, um... I don't see how that would work because dinosaurs don't have a protect mode to protect the dinosaurs you're taming because dinosaurs you're taming obviously are not your dinosaurs. Um, let's go ahead and just start off with the trike. Maybe I'll get lucky and get some raw prime meat off of the trike, although I don't think they actually drop any. Okay, nothing there. I'm, Like I said, I'm actually a little hesitant to go too far away. It's not going to be a big deal if I lose a couple of levels on that guy. He's pretty low level to begin with. Man, where did all the where did all the Bronts go? Are they across the river? They may be across the river now. Well, that's kind of inconvenient if so, because I don't really want to go that far. All it takes is a couple of raptors or something like that sneaking up when you you just didn't know. The next thing, man, your your uh, unconscious Tyrannosaurus is gone. Ask me. I know. Look at that. Sauron's got some great off-road handling. He was on the edge right there, and he didn't fall off. Yeah, not bad. Big man is pretty agile. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and hang here for the time being. I'll, I'll poke around a little more just to see if maybe I can find something somewhat close that uh, would let me get some raw prime meat in, a, in short order. But if not, I'm totally okay with it. I mean, in fact, here, let's just take a look. I'm looking at getting one level, so it should be fine. Yeah, this is going to be his last thing here, that, that raw prime meat spoiled on him. So he'll have to take raw, regular raw stuff from here in all likeliness. But uh, that's okay. Like I said, I'll be back with you in a little while again. And we're getting pretty close here as morning approaches. It's uh, just about 4 a.m., so you'll start seeing the sky brightening up pretty shortly here. About 4 a.m. is when sun starts to kind of come out a little bit on the arc. I think we're at the point where he's going to be at his last meet before he's tamed. Now, of course, this is a male T-Rex, so I'm not going to be looking at getting the mate bonus, which that's kind of a shame. I would really like to see that. I think that might actually be necessary when it comes time to start taking on an alpha T-Rex, which, uh, may end up being sooner rather than later. I don't know. Maybe maybe one of those guys is running around on the northeast island. I'm I'm not sure. I haven't really been out that way to double check, but mate bonus would be nice, but like I said, he is a male. He's only level three, but he is looking at getting one extra level, so at least he'll start at level four. I, I don't remember now. I'd have to go back and check. It was, uh, I know it was episodes 28 and 29, just because I answered the question recently in the comments, but I think, and I'm not sure, but I think Sauron may have started as a level 1. So if that's the case, theoretically, with careful control over where his points go, this guy could turn out to be pretty good. Now, of course, Sauron over there at level 30 already has the advantage in 
sheer number of levels right now. So we'll have to wait and see how that goes. But this guy should be close now. Any, uh, any moment now. Let's just check him. Yep, there we go. There we go. Now, I've already seen that dossier, of course, because my game is mildly broken. But that's my problem, not yours. So you might be wondering what he's going to be called. There you go. That is my new T-Rex, who looks like he has a bit of a dance pose with that straight leg going on. Huh, kind of like that. This guy's, uh, this guy's going to be fun. I can tell already. He's going to have some personality to him. Let's go ahead and call him over. And let's, uh, let's just kind of steer him around a little bit. Look at that. He can climb up there for me. Or for Sauron, technically. But, uh, he couldn't climb up there on his own. So let's go ahead and just bring him up here. Now, Sauron is the one who is stuck. Okay, we can do this. We can do this, guys. We can do this. All right. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's test things off first off. Before I even look at his numbers and give him a new level, let's just kind of have fun with things right now. And let's make that turtle die. <laughs> oh, I feel kind of bad. And away it goes. Just like that. All right. Good. <laughs> oh, I do amuse myself. Let's check out Grimma over here. Mr. Wormtongue. The Wormtongue. Okay, so he did get his level. He's up to level four. It did not go into food. I don't think it went into oxygen. It may have gone into stamina. I'm not sure. But he's looking at 1,000 health, 215% melee damage. That's not too bad. So just kind of the numbers to compare right now. Stamina, oxygen. So 421, 15, and 510. So 420, 150, and 510. So those are actually about the same. It looks like his stats have either gone into melee damage or health, which um, it's probably a good thing because Sauron here has 300 points that have gone into food, which are just a complete waste. I mean, 3,600 versus 3,300. Yeah, that, that's pretty much a complete waste just because, uh, you know. Yeah, you tell him, buddy. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not going to let him starve, so it's pretty much not worth the while. But Sad as it may be, it's time to call it an episode, believe it or not. Yeah, that's recording time for you. Sometimes things just don't work out well in my favor and by extension. Maybe your favor if you're hoping for longer. Of course, if you're hoping for a short episode, boom, there you go. Happy to help. Anyway, I will catch you on the next one. So until then, thanks for watching. Ah, great timing, Sauron. See you later.